Okay boys and girls, we in for a quick afternoon session here on Cobble Yo's. See if we can buy a bite here. Uh, Enrico is here and uh, Daniel from Angling Marine and ASFN, a new addition to the to the ASFN ambassadors, both of them. And we're quickly gonna have a throw and see if we can and put a fish. I'm gonna use the championship six, my 14,000 uh, salt test, the MQ, and uh, just throw a nice small little mackerel or sardine head bait and see if I can uh, can tease in a, a nice flat fish or something. Enrico was the first to lure in some interest with a small little bronze whaler. During this period there were quite a few of them around ranging between the 5 kilo up to 30 kilos and then every now and again that 60, 70 and even over Tyron answered quickly with a little sandy that showed interest in his bait. wasn't long and Daniel went tight as well. A lot of you might know Daniel from Angling Marine, the friendly help that always makes sure you've got the right choice of braid with the right knots. Daniel was also rewarded with a small bronze whaler. Now I think I'm not the only one when I say golden hour gets me excited and probably most anglers. It's that eerie time of the day, early morning or late afternoon, when anything can happen. Well, that's how it feels. Lelisha was rewarded with a nice little cob, using that beautiful bait Enrico made up. This is the one that's going to catch a fish. When you're going to fish the golden hour and into the evening, it's a good idea to start when it's still light and pick the right spot. Have a few casts and baits in the water to get to know the spot before it gets dark. The next critter was a little grey shark Daniel got. When the fishing stuff, we often fit in these late afternoon little sessions for two or three hours to see what we can get to feed the addiction and keep us sane. Tyron putting some serious horsepower behind my trolley there and the trolley of course holding its own. Little Garrick um, in the net, not the target species, but uh, beautiful. Some days you have to work extra hard 
to find the mullet. When the water is crystal clean like this, it's definitely a better idea fishing into the night. to the hook The bronze whaler must be the perfect example of a shark, with its close relatives the grey sharks and the black fins displaying the same features. Too hard. It's not white when it takes off. 
be another bronzy, slightly bigger one. How smooth that Saltigo drag helps with fighting fish. And there you have it, a much better specimen, measuring in at just under 30 kilos. 128. Now that was such a funny fight. I can't explain it, never, never felt like a bronzy from biggest part of the fight. It was shaking a bit like a cob, it was sluggish slow, it just took off very fast like a bronzy, or like a smoother, even a bigger cob. But it had me confused until we had it here in the shadows. But nice fight, about a 28, 30 kilo, female, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And Tyron answered my bronzy with a nice young reggae in more or less the same weight clause. One, one, three. There we go. Guys, I'm very chuffed. I was looking for a reggae. Wasn't a big one, but yeah, awesome. Great fun. Now guys, in this show, I'm sure you're getting a bit of an idea of the lifestyle we have here in the Eastern Cape. And we're very privileged to have this. Weather permitting, you can spend every afternoon after work on these beautiful beaches. It's Good Friday, um, we had a lovely morning at our church with really good messages and uh, so much to be thankful for as we know and uh, what a better place to spend the rest of the day than here in God's creation or Cobble Yo's Good North uh, just past the lagoon Gonna have a throw. The objective is to get Caroline to catch a fish as well. So this is her rod, the first one. I'm gonna rig up uh, just a nice little sardine mackerel chocker bait and get her in the water quickly and see if we can maybe lure her in a Blu-ray or a or a diamond or whatever is in the area. So let's get cracking on that. Just putting a bit of a sardine head as base, and then we'll put fillets around it, a bit of chocker get uh, Caroline's rod in the water. The water actually looks bloody rough here. Very rough. I'm going to put the championship five out for Caroline. It's got a 10,000 goes on with 15 pound jaybreak. So it's going to be good fun. She gets a nice fish on it. Anything Three kilos up will be nice on it, but it should be able to handle the bigger fish as well. And I'm throwing a 
75 pound bite trace the 7x7 seven seven, uh, fish bait from Kingfisher and uh, on a 6 a mustard tuna circle ok there's our little bait, it's very simple sardine head uh, 2 sardine cutlets, 2 mackerel cutlets and then I'm just going to add a bit of the other day. It's about the size of an egg, slightly smaller, but the shape of egg. And uh, nice little bite. Should get a bite. Unfortunately, Caroline didn't get a decent bite and couldn't stay for the duration of the session. Pecking away at this bait. Put a slither of chop on so they're eating it. Okay, I had an ice pool there going away and instead of, I put my hand on the then of the spool I put it on the drag knob because it's got a very big drag knob so there wasn't enough pressure to set that hook still something there Daniel, Enrico and his dad Jacques as well as Lelisha joined us for this session on the beach Jock made light work of this really decent size blue rain. In the last couple of months, we've seen more than one of the soup fins on the beach, which is really nice to see. No matter what it is, it still feels nice. Ah, oh, okay. Always lucky to get a good box. What did you throw there? A big chocolate bait. Oh, nice. Yeah. Now, this is a soup fin, good. Farley, soup fin. Looks like it. <laughs> yeah. Size. Size, 
Okay guys, so thanks again for watching. Always thank you for watching the channel. Please like the video, it really helps our channel. And remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification button. It's a drop down and you choose to be notified whenever we upload a video. So thanks for your support over the years. We really appreciate it.